Alright YouTube, so I'll take you guys through the paintwork on this VE Commodore. All the prep work's obviously done, we've got a brand new rear bump bar there, they've welded on a new back panel, sealer work done, obviously as I said it's masked up, I've wiped the entire job down with wax and grease remover, these things are starting to poke out there a bit, get you back in there. Um, I've got a little bit of a blend here, so I decided to cover it up with paper because I did want to actually get some wet on wet primer over that. Um, that'll be wet on wet priming that door because I cut through here and there. Wet on wet primer over obviously over the back panel and then uh, over the new rear bumper too, but we've got a plastic primer first, so let's go.
sure any spray painter will be feeling my pain right now. They'll know exactly what I'm going on about, but sometimes panel beaters they don't fully understand, or either that or just don't really care enough to look after brand new bump bars. They're quite important that like, if you look closely here, there's some sanding scratches and stuff in it. Here and here. Like when he um he had to drill these sensor holes out himself. What he's done it is just thrown it upside down. There were scratches all through here. Actually, you can still see some of them. And all around here, it was really, really rough. So I did my best to sand it out in the plastic, but plastic doesn't really sand very well. There's no real quick fix for it. Like, this is probably the best way to actually go about it is to sand it out the best you can and as fine as you can. Maybe use a bit of wet sandpaper if possible. Um, to finish it off with and then yeah just get your plastic primer when I'm wet primer down leave it for however long it takes to dry and then give it a scuff out in the wet on wet but luckily this isn't silver if this is silver yeah it'd be a lot more important to get the any of these little scratches out which I thought I actually had out but couldn't quite see it properly. Lucky it is black because I'll just be able to fill the rest of it up with um, a bit of clear. If there's any imperfections in there, just smash a couple of coats of clear on there and call it good. But yeah, if this is silver, you would see it all. Yeah, the guy that's done this job is not really a good panel meter. Like, Got nothing against him, but the person, but pretty average. Like I had the car in the boot, and I was just prepping the boot lid up. Just thought a quick, easy job to prep up, and there was a big low spot through here, big dent there. So I had to fill it up and reprime it, and it's a little bit ripply through here. But the car itself, it's uh, seen better days. Um, I think it's going to be okay for what it is, you know. Like there was, um, there's dents and stuff all through the front door and all down the other side. It's been painted multiple times. Average job's done on it. So, we just do the best we can to make our part look good. So, even this part down here, there was more, it's all like, the plastic itself, not his fault or anything, this one, but the plastic itself, it all like, like the mold was wrong or something like that. So that's the sound that back. But that's probably going to be good enough for us to give a good tack rag and get some base and clear on. I can feel that it's well, it's like pretty smooth, it's not perfect, but so it should be fine for black. I've done a few freebie, uh, just stone chips and stuff around the car, I always do that. I mean, dents, like full on dents, depending on the car and depending on where they are, I always do my best to fix them if I'm going to be putting colour there, but at the end of the day, if the customer isn't willing to part with some money to get the repair done, the insurance company isn't, there's only so much we can do, like if it's not going to take me too long to do, yeah, I'll always do it, but it's going to turn into a big major job and then we'll have to blend the next panel. Yeah, sorry, it's not going to get done. Like this bootlet here, these aren't necessarily accident related or anything, but why not fix them? You're going to put colour there anyway, they're just little, I think it's bird poo stains or something like that, but it's actually eaten, eaten into the paint, so fix them kind of things up. If they were here and I needed to blend it, I'd probably just touch it up like here. So this is just going to be a blender. Might actually. I probably should have put a bit of filler in there. I could have, but it's dark enough colour that you won't see the difference. And my colour's pretty good. Like, it's not perfect, but pretty good. So you can see through this door here, there's those couple of chips that I've fixed up, you know. But there is, like, there's a massive dent here. For me to fix that, it's going to get here, prime it, possibly go into the next panel, and, like, yeah, as I say, like, the rest of the car's covered in it, so... I think there's a big one up through that quarter panel pillar as well. But it's all good. Let's get some base coat down. Got the HBI 
old pal in this gun today. Scola 4600 with the HBL pal. Yeah, yeah. You see what it looks like? Great place. Do it. 